Oh yo, family, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford and we're here once again, y'all, to give God our glory, our honor, and our praise. Cause this right here is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word and see what the words say. All right then. Fans go crazy. See what the words say. This is the day. So what the words say, y'all. This is the day. Good morning to you. Thank y'all for logging on. This is the day that the huh? Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I say, this is the day that the Lord has made. And okay, then. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sister Cora, I see you over here. Brother Josh. Hey, this is the debut. What's going on? Hey, this is the debut. Hey, this is the debut. Listen, man, we thank God that we are ultra blessed. We're here to see another day. God is great and he is worthy to be praised. He has provided us once again, family, once again, by his grace and mercy, he has provided us with the breath of life that is in our lungs. And this morning, we are eternally grateful. We're going to be looking at John this morning. John chapter 13, we'll be looking at verse number 34 and 35, y'all. John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. If you don't mind, grab your word. Because when I say, don't take my word for it, I truly mean that. I need you to get into this word for yourself. I need you to foster and, and grow your relationship with God for yourself. I need that. I need that, man. I really, really need that because the stronger you are, the stronger we are. The stronger you are, the stronger we are, man. So once again, this morning, like Brett Emery said, we are in uh, uh, John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. And like bro said, I read my word. It's so important, so invitedly important that you get into this word for yourself. Once again, y'all, this morning, we're looking at John chapter 13. Verses 34 and 35. Thank y'all for being a part of the Morning Motivational Family. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. Let's get the message out to as many people as possible. And let's get into this word and see what the words say, family. Let us pray. God, our Father, as we humbly come before you on this morning, Father, we thank you. We are eternally grateful. We thank you for another opportunity in life. As we come before the throne in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus, our prayer request is that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, that you would allow your Holy Spirit, O oh God, to guide us into all truth and revelation. Father, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name it is we pray. Amen. So we look at once again, y'all, John chapter 13. Verses 34 and 35. John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. The word reads, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love one another. For another, I'm going to see that one more time. Verse number 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you should also love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. Today, I choose love. I choose love today, man. There's a lot of choices I got. A lot of things are spread out on the table. A lot of, a lot of different directions I could take my life in today. But today, I choose love. And the reason why I choose love is because I want to be known as one of his disciples. Jesus went so far as to say, I'm going to give you a new commandment. God gave us all these commandments. Thou shalt not, thou, 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 thou shalt not kill, thou, thou, all these commandments. And then Jesus said, man, I'm finna give y'all a new commandment. Huh? I'm finna add something on top of that. And what he added on that was what? Was love. 
Jesus added love onto the commandment. Make sure this new commandment I give you is that you love one another. Huh? This is how they're going to really know that you are my disciple. Not by the fancy hat that you got on. Not by the gator shoes you got on. Not because you got the, uh, the cur, you know, the curvy little thing. You know, the, the collar. The collar with the white on right there. You know how, how my, my, my undershirt is. You know, the little white. That's not how they're going down. They're going, yeah, they see that. They see that. They see you got the Christian bumper sticker on your car. They see that. They see you go to church on Sunday. They see that. But how will they know that you're a disciple? He said, he said in the red letter, he said, by this, all will know that you're my disciple. By the love that you show one for another. One for another, not huh? huh? One for another, the love that I have for myself and the love that I extend to my brother and my sister. Under the worst circumstances. When things don't, when I don't feel like loving nobody. When I feel, when I feel, I feel unlovable. Not what nobody done did to me. Not have nobody uh, uh, said something to me. But at points in my life, I feel unlovable. Me, because of what I got going on. What I'm going through personally. And so then that spills out into my relationships with other people. But what Jesus is saying, truly, this new commandment that I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. That's what he said. What I exhibited, the path that I set, the things that I set in motion, you got to follow behind me. And this is how we really going to know that you want to mind. And it's easy to do this. But everybody know that action speaks louder than words. And love is an action word. Today, I choose love. If you choose love with me, man, put that in the comment box. Put that in the comment box. Man, I choose love, man. I choose it. I, I deliberately choose it. Despite how difficult it's going to be, I'm going to choose love. That Because I want to be known as one of his. I don't know about you. But me, I want to be known as one of his. Well, when that time come, man, I want him to say, come on, boy, you did a good job. Ooh. <laughs> when that time come, come on here. Come on here, Deacon Fold. You did a good job, man. That's what I want to know. And I pray that that's your desire, too, that you have that type of a close-knit relationship with him. Because that's all that matters. Man, y'all come on in. I see a few of y'all on the jump. No, I see my brother Mike on here. I see uh, Stan Zun on here. Y'all come on in, man. Big hug to everybody in the tertia. Big hug to y'all. Mama Margaret, good big hug to everybody. I love y'all. Make sure today that you choose love. That's how he said you, that's how you going, that's, that's the determinant, that's the, the identifier is love. That what it said in the word. John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. When you read your word, jump into the comment box and say, I read my word. Y'all know how we roll, family. Faith over fear. God over everything together. We, us, we've made love great again. Love never lost its power. It just lost its popularity, man. I love y'all. Always keep in mind, it's been a wrap a long time ago for the foolishness. We're living on reflection, reflecting over our lives. We're living on accountability. We're being accountable for our actions. I'm telling you, boy, it ain't too many things that could really get up under Deacon Ford's skin. And one of them things is an unaccountable adult, man. As a whole adult, I deal with children. God has placed me in the uh, educational profession where I deal with youth. Now, a young person who's not accountable, I could deal with that. It still get to me. But a whole adult who don't want to be accountable for their actions. Come on, man. You got you to gotta, you gotta go before the Lord and ask him to remove that from you. And once we're accountable for our actions, we use A for application. Applying God's word to our life and then P. Getting prepared to make the rest of our lives the best of our lives. Man, I love y'all. Y'all come on in. Y'all come on in right quick. Come on in right quick. Big hug to everybody. Big hug, man. I am only blessed, truly blessed to see another day. God is great and he's worthy to be praised. We thank him. We give him all glory, all honor, and we celebrate this breath of life that he has given to us. 
Let's go. This is the day that the Lord. I love y'all, man. I really love y'all for real, for real. Like for real, for real. That's why we here. That's why I get up and do this. God told me to do it. I love y'all. And that's why we do it. If you don't mind, hit that share button. Get the message out to as many people as possible, alright? I love y'all, man.